Welcome to Dr. Nakamura's lecture series on bridge engineering, number A3. Chapter 4 Materials Steel and concrete are most commonly used for modern bridges. Steel is produced by reducing iron ore and adding several chemical components. Steel has high strength and ductility and is suitable for bridges. Concrete is a mixture of cement, water, and aggregates. Before concrete is hardened, it has good fluidity and can form free shapes. It has high compressive strengths but little resistance against tension. To compensate this, concrete is commonly used with steel reinforcement or PC bars. As concrete is cast at construction sites, its quality depends on quality control at site. Comparison of steel and concrete is shown in this table. Please study it by yourself. Four point two types of steel. Strength and quality of steel must be confirmed by proper specifications. In Japan, JIS, Japanese Industrial Standard, specifies chemical components and the mechanical properties. SS400, SM400, SM490, SM490Y, and SM570 are most commonly used for bridges. As for symbols, SS or SM shows the steel type and the number 400 or 570 shows the tensile strength. SMA400W, SMA490W, and SMA570 are weathering steel, which have good anti-corrosion property. SBHS 400 and SBHS 500 are new bridge materials and have higher yield strengths and need no preheating for welding. The main chemical component of steel is pure iron, Fe, which is relatively soft. The strengths can be improved by carbon, C, but too much carbon reduces the ductility and its amount should be less than 0.2%. Silica SI and manganese MN make the acidification. Nickel NI and chromium CR provide ductility. Aluminium AL refines the steel fiber and kappa Cu improves anti-corrosion property. Heat treatment, hardening and tempering can also improve strength and ductility of steel. Bridge refracture. When an impact force acts on a steel member, it fractures without sufficient elongation. This is called brutal fracture, which is a crucial problem. When a crack occurs at a steel member, stresses concentrate at the sharp notch, which also makes the steel member brutal. To judge the safety of notched steel member, the Sharpie impact test is conducted. This test is illustrated here. The steel plates for bridges are required to have sufficient Sharpie absorbed energy over 27 joule. Strength of steel is specified by codes and specifications in each country. This is the Japanese code JIS. 
characteristic values of the strengths of major steel in Japan is shown in this table. It specifies the yield strengths, tensile strengths, and elongation for each steel grade. The compressive strength of concrete ranges 18 to 80 newton per uh, square millimeters. Concrete strength increases with time. The nominal strength is defined in 28 days after casting. The design compressive strength, the design bending strength, and the tensile strength, and the bond strength under the ultimate limit state are specified for the given nominal strengths as shown in this table. The design bending strengths and the tensile strengths under the serviceability limit state are also shown here. The stress and strain relation of concrete shown in this figure is used to calculate the ultimate strengths. It is nonlinear with the ultimate strain of 0.0035 or 0.0025. These assumptions are used for this verification. 1. The strain in a section is proportional to the distance from the neutral axis. 2. Tensile stress is ignored. 3. The stress and strain relation in this figure is used for concrete. 4. The bilinear stress and strain relation is used for steel reinforcement. 4.5. Timber. Timber is strong and light used for short and medium span bridges. Trees are classified into two categories, needle-leaved trees and broad-leaved trees. Broad-leaved trees are used for furniture and needle-leaved trees are used for structures. Densities and elastic modulus of some of the timbers are shown in this table. Typical stress-strain relation is shown in this figure. Tensile strength is larger than the compressive strength. Mechanical properties of typical timbers are shown here. In general, the bending strength is larger than the compressive strength and the tensile strength is the lowest. This is a covered bridge made of timber. This is the Kintai Bridge in Japan. This is a beautiful bridge, but it is not durable. And it is refurbished about every 30 years. That's all for this lecture. See you next lecture.